Hey yo, welcome back to the battlefield everyone. I'm your host Monk and we're playing Star Wars Destiny on Tabletop Simulator. I am here with a very special guest, Matt the Codebreaker from the Chance Cube for the Padawan story. How are you, Matt? I'm great. Thanks for having me on. Hey, it's truly appreciated, man. Like, again, you guys are <laughs> like, it's weird, like kind of going with like the idols of uh, Star Wars Destiny content creation, man. And it's just an honor to have you on. Oh, thanks, man. I, I, uh, the community has been super, like, even as I started doing content and working with the Chance Cube, like, everybody's super easy to reach out to, and you can have other people on the show, and nobody's, like, nobody's ego is too big to, to not help other content creators out, so I think it's pretty cool about the community. Yeah, and that's why, like, just another reason why I love this community so much, you know what I mean? So, um, thank you so much for coming on. Yeah, thanks for having me. I'm super excited to be here. All right, before we even go anywhere, where can they find you at, Matt? Um, the, I guess the main thing that I do is I have my own show within the Chance Cube network called uh, the Canto Bite Players Club. Uh, Chance Cube is a little bit more focused on community building and the casual aspect of the game, whereas the Canto Bite Players Club, which is my show, is a little bit more focused on the, um, the competitive, strategic um more focused on that stuff um so yeah if you're if you're more into the competitive side of the game and uh want it want some more deep analysis on cards decks and insight into how you know the best players in the world think the game um come check out the kind white players club and uh, like i said it's part of the chance cube network so if you subscribe to the chance cube stuff uh you'll be getting my podcast through there as well otherwise i'm just on facebook i'm on discord um i'm on discord and tabletop simulator as Codebreaker, and then i have my name matt kuzano in parentheses there for to make it easier to find me and then uh, you can also find me on just on facebook i'm on all the destiny pages awesome man hey all those links are going to be in the description below so don't be afraid to go check them out Go follow them. Make sure you go and become a Patreon of theirs. All that stuff, man. Uh, because it's a whole lot of great content, a whole lot of great information if you want to become a better player or just want to know a lot more about Star Wars or Star Wars Destiny. Just highly suggested. Uh, you ready to do this, man? Let's throw down. After you did that spiel, a spiel I think you're going to like kick my butt with, uh, <laughs> we'll with <see>. this. We'll <laughs> so you're bringing uh, Luke 2 and Ayla? Yeah, it's a built to last deck, so it's a 26 point character build, and then all my unique um, upgrades are, uh, I guess they're not minus one resource, because you still have to pay for them, but then you gain a resource. Yeah, no, it's a payback so, method. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So you have to have the money to play it, but but you get a money back. So it's a money back guarantee. It's really good. All right, um, so I'm jumping with this freaking saw rose. Like, I love how competitive you got, but I'm like, ah, go with something fun today. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Uh, I'm going to mulligan one, I think. No, maybe two. I've already mulliganed. Okay, cheater. All right, anyways. Okay. Um, no, I'll go one. No, that's not what I want, but okay. Okay, you can go again if you want. I know, right? Just, just go for it. <laughs> oh man! Uh, so, what brought you into the whole Star Wars Destiny groove? Um, I kind of discovered um, you just kicked my butt on the uh, five billion. I got five billion. Yeah, yeah, you did. I only got four billion. Um, I'll let you have some shields. Oh wait, hang on a second. Did I roll six? I did roll six. Okay, you win then. Uh, I got five. See, I multitask. This is going to be really painful because I'm a bad multitasker. Um. Okay, so we're going to take mine then. Oh, okay. Have a plot as well. Oh well, doesn't matter. Okay, take um, two damage. Oh yeah, that sucks. You're not feeling so. You start, so. Plus, you start plus two and I start minus two. This is not. Hey yo. <laughs> um, I have my whole life been a gamer but more on the like video games and board games tons of board games with family and friends that sort of thing um and i only just recently discovered um like tabletop gaming and uh like competitive gaming and fell in love with it so <clears throat> um 
yeah, I started uh, started playing X Wing um, not long ago. Um, I guess a, a year and a half or two years ago, maybe. Uh huh. And um, and then through that, just through I think up content creation and stuff, some of the people that were talking X Wing on YouTube and whatever started talking about Star Wars Destiny, and I'm like, oh, I'll go check that out. I'm I'm a big Star Wars nerd. There you go. And. Um, and yeah, I just fell in love with this game and since have sold all my X-Wing stuff and, <laughs> and kind of exclusively play Destiny now. So. I'm, I'm with you right now, man. Like, uh, that's exactly what's going on for me right now. I'm selling my X-Wing stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it's bad. It's bad. But don't get me wrong. 2.0 is going to be amazing for a lot of people. But for me, it's just not yeah. going to be for me. Yeah. Like if I had, uh, if 2.0 had come out a year ago or six months ago, I might not have sold my stuff. Yeah. Um, just because I didn't really like the state of the game at the time. Mm -hmm. um, and it looks like they're cleaning that up, which is great. So uh, we'll see. We'll see if the bank will allow me to get into another game. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I have no idea what your deck's trying to do. I assume it's trying to put down vehicles and do some saw shenanigans with his special. Um, I don't know how to play against that deck. So that's the point. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, exactly. Um, but yeah, man, I got you, man. Like, what is it? I actually came from X Wing as well, so I feel you again. Like, I got into X Wing, got, did that, saw this Destiny thing come out. I'm like, oh, that's kind of cool. Um, Spirit Rebellion, oh, like Awakenings became the hardest thing to ever get. Spirit yes. came out. And then I'm like, all right, let's finally get into this game. And there it goes, you know what I mean? Yeah. The melees, please. Dirty. Um, let's go ahead and... Yeah, I'll try my luck at this. Uh, go ahead and shuffle my hand and discard random card. Okay, five and direct. Oh, come on. <laughs> Jeez. Um, what else? Well. <laughs> so, uh, so what made you start the Candle by Players Club? Um, I was working with the Chance Cube. Um. Actually, hang on. I'm just going to do one of those. Okay. Because this is my first time playing with this battlefield. Oh, yeah. So you can get two. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or force you to claim early. Um... Which is fine by me. Um... <clears throat> yeah, I, uh, I was kind of doing stuff with the Chance Cube. Um just kind of guesting on the shows. I was part of the family. So I was doing like just random episodes and just like podcast bites. Okay. Um, and be, you know, being on the main show from time to time and just kind of helping out and being involved with them. And then, um, I guess Jason, the, the boss man at the, at the chance you decided that, uh, oh, I don't like where this is going here. I'm trying to see uh, if I want to use it or not. Oh my God. Yeah, I'll use it. Um, yeah, Jason decided that um, he wanted to give me a, a show of my own. So um, I uh, accepted, and here we are. That's awesome. Okay, well, I'm going to say um, indirect there, I guess. Which one? Indirect. Indirect. Monies. Um... I'll claim and do three indirect. Ugh. Oh, wait. No, no, no. I can't. Wait. No, no, no. No, never mind. Oh, does that plot get discarded? Oh, no. Yeah, it doesn't get discarded, does it? So I do have a plot. Sweet. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Three indirect. Oh, great. Man. My characters are like half dead already. <laughs> Uh, no, that's awesome, man. So you, you lean toward the competitive scene a lot? Yeah, definitely. Um, so, uh, yeah, 
like for me, I'm just literally getting into it. I just went to that uh, the, the Kublicon, the um, oh my god, Galaxy Qualifier, and oh, cool. uh, now I'm kind of like hooked on competitive scene. But don't get me wrong, I love just fun decks, but I yeah. lean toward competitive. Yeah, cool. Speaking of competitive, you're beating my butt here. All right, it's my turn, huh? All right, um, Rot Rose. more indirect i'll take it so i think by the time that this one comes out i think uh the way the force has dropped already i don't know i'm trying to get out all these freaking padawan stories before we're done a lot before it, before it's out but i think this one's going to squeeze right after it but what card were you the most excited for uh, in uh, way of the force hmm um I, before Snoke was released, I was like super excited about seeing what Snoke would be. Uh -huh. um, I'm I'm not a villain player, but just as a character in the in the show or in the movies, um, I'm a huge fan of uh, uh, two more, huh? Um, I'm just a huge fan of that character, and I'm a huge fan of Andy Serkis. Um, so. Uh, I was really excited to see what Snoke would be like, and he is like really, really good. Um, maybe too good because I'm not a villain. I'm not even a villain player, so I, chances are I probably won't even play him much. Yeah. Um, but I played a game against uh, Snoke Thrawn last night, and it like it puts up vehicles like it's nobody's business. That sounds it's amazing. Crazy. Yeah, it it's super good so i want we'll it i want to use snow we'll see. So i feel like it's i feel like it it has it feels like in a weird way it feels similar to like the thrawn on car uh -oh. um level of like efficiency yeah which might be i don't know we'll see we'll see <laughs> we, gotcha. haven't even, like, we haven't even seen the rest of the set or i mean we have but we haven't seen it in action really so it might be fine but um, after seeing it just one game, I'm like, wow, that is way too efficient. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, let's see. I'm going to play Master of the Council. Oh, is that it? Is that the only thing you're doing? Okay. Yeah. That, that's nice of you. And then that's unique, so I get a money back. Yeah, I get a money back. Great. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, it's real out. Three indirect. Come on. You do have force solution there, so it's good. So since we just talked about favorite cards in general, um what like do you have a favorite card altogether through Star Wars Destiny Craziness? Um There's probably a few. Um, I'm I've always I've been a huge fan of Poe two for a while. Ugh. This is not going well. I've drawn no mitigation. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Into my first two rounds, except for that one hidden motive. Um, so I think I'm in trouble here. Um, yeah, I, I guess it. It's just cards that match my play style, and I'm I'm a big fan of like big explosive plays, okay, um, and combos and stuff like that. So, um, like I've been a Sabine player for a while for mm -hmm. that reason, and I've been playing kind of more unconventional Sabine decks. Um, so I played Sabine Po two for a long time. Um, oh, nice. Yeah, before Legacies, it was really strong. And especially before the nerf to heat of battle. Um, so my cards are yours. Um, your uh, mine. Five more indirect. Yeah, it's gonna go right here. Watch, here comes all my mitigation. I know. Here's all oh, mitigation. <laughs> Yay! Yeah. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Yep. Four out of five were mitigation. Right. Beautiful. Um. <clears throat> Oh, this is all a lot of garbage.
So right now, uh, are you going to be participating in any sort of championships? Uh, probably oh not. Oh my god. Probably not? <laughs> well, I live, like, I live in northern Ontario, which is about a four-hour drive north of Toronto. And, um... Four and direct. Wow. Got it. Um, and we don't really have a competitive seen um where i'm at um i got gotcha. so um yeah so i do like almost all my playing on tabletop simulator and, oh wow man i didn't know that yeah so let's see what do i want to do here i guess i don't have a choice but to just go um like that, then you get a card. Mm -hmm. And we'll go two, three, nine, seven, nine. Um, yeah, I gotta kill Saul because no, oh, okay. I'm going after Saul. I was the only one. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> one, two, three, six, that's eight, nine. What do I need? Two more. Okay. Yep. Um, yeah, so like, and, and it being summertime with like weddings and family functions and camp and like summer is just crazy. And, um, yeah, there's just no, um, it's difficult to get down. Like I have to make a four hour drive and basically make a weekend out of it if I'm going to go and, um, yeah, if I'm gonna like play at a store championship, it's the same thing for regionals for anything. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry to hear that, man. Because I know like you're such a big contributor. You know what I mean? So it's all good. It is what it is. Um. But yeah, so I was gonna say, like, what are you exactly? What What's your favorite deck right now? Uh. In so I guess recently I my deck was kind of the Yoda Sabine swamp thing. Um, I went a regional with it, um, and so I played that for a while. And then um, as kind of the better aggro decks of Legacies came out, uh -huh. um, it just was not like to basically it's an eleven health. Um, it's an 11 health deck, right? If Sabine dies, it's just done. And there's lots of ways to keep her alive, but like if you make one mistake um, or draw badly once, like you can be you can be in trouble in a hurry. Gotcha. Um, yeah. So did you heal? No. Remember, I have oh, two you... shields. Oh, I see. I see. Mm -hmm. um, man, Saw is on fire. Yeah, so what you have to do is cook him at 220 degrees. Mitigation! Woo! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> uh, um, yeah, so let's see Sabine was my favorite for a while. Um... I didn't like just playing the conventional Sabine decks. Like, they were good, but I don't know. Oh, actually, just, one second. I'm not doing that. I'll pay one. Yeah, Locked yeah, and loaded. Yeah. <clears throat> Man, I feel like you're cheating. I know, right? <laughs> you're like, how is this possible? <laughs> how is this possible? Four indirect damage. You've used both of those now. I have. Thankfully, I have four in this deck, so you're fine. Okay, well. I'm just going to, like, go for it hardcore here in this round, because if I don't. Like, About to get so real. All right, no, I'm kidding. Uh, let's do the four indirect. Oh, actually, only two indirect. Okay. <laughs> I keep forgetting about this. Oh, yeah, which basically kills me. 
This is not good. Okay, so I have to take the shield to survive that. Okay. Um, you got three cards left. I do. I'll pass. So what what way of the force card do you think is going to be the meta? Um, I'll pass again. That's um, that's a, such a tough question this early, right? I think this is going to have a serious impact on the meta. Oh yeah. Um. Yeah, between this deck, which I haven't seen many people play, or any for that matter, um, and then I think the Hyperloop wrote an article on um Ayla Cassian. Oh which yeah. Which seems really good as well. Um because Cassian's a beast. Um and and it gets yellow in there. Freaking mini palpatine, I swear. Yeah. So uh I think that'll have uh, an impact on the meta. I think Snoke is gonna be a beast. I think Dooku is really good um i think price somebody's gonna find a way to break price oh um, man yeah rinda price yeah. like miss governor price herself is the ayla of villains yeah um it's crazy yeah. special training for villains and then the ability to even better than that like change mm. just another die and yeah increase upon one is kind of crazy so yeah we'll see it's um It's going to be interesting. What do I need here to kill Saw? I still need like four. That's mm -hmm. a lot of that's a lot of damages. Um, I think I'm going to discard to reroll. So I usually ask this at the end or usually at the beginning or something like that, but what is something that people don't know about you that the Destiny community can know about you? Oh my God. That can know about you. Yeah, because you know, like I don't want you to shed some stuff that you don't want to like really <laughs> display in a public forum right now, but. Yeah, yeah. Um, let's see, uh, I guess my first pass is sports. Um, I'm a big uh sports guy okay. i'm a big hawk i'm a big hockey fan surprise surprise from the comedian <laughs> um i am also a musician i play a little bit of guitar oh that's and, awesome and uh what else and i'm an ambulance dispatcher is my is my is my job oh there you so, go a few interesting things it, there it pays for the destiny cards yeah exactly <laughs> that's what makes this all happen all right do your worst i pass again you're passing again i'm gonna re-roll again trying to see exactly what you're gonna try to do here i know you're trying to get that three or four. Oh no oh you got it though three for one there's three damage, so I'll suppression field this three. Okay. Go ahead and do the three indirect. Okay, I'll take the money. Okay. And then I will loop power action to do three. oh yeah i forgot all about that <laughs> most people do yeah so, so that's three. three and then four to kill and then a one to rose nice it's gonna end up close i think nice it's very very close <clears throat> <sighs> oh my god <laughs> you better be glad you mitigated those dots. <laughs> yeah, I finally drew a mitigation card. My gosh. All like right. In that whole hand, I still only had one. All right, throw out that Rosie. 
to interact. Um, to indirect means that. Uh, yeah, he he can just take it. Yeah, but you could just claim and then make sure that I have to kill one of my guys right now. Um. Yeah, I think I have to risk that. <clears throat> All the decisions in the world, man. Yeah. What to do, what to do. Okay, let's start. So, just do you have a, a guilty pleasure card that you like to play? This for funsies? Um, oh my god. Hey, some damage. Um, that's a good question. Uh, yeah, there's a card that I like constantly, constantly want to try to make work. Bam! <laughs> Did you just kill me? <laughs> Five indirect damage. <laughs> oh, man. Plays for days. Well done. Good game, man. Yeah. <clears throat> I finally drew some mitigation. You were dead this turn, 100%. Yeah, oh yeah, completely. Oh my god. Yep, completely dead this turn. <laughs> uh, I was thinking about mitigating, and then uh, mitigating those dice, and then chose not to. Well, like, it would have been good, but this, no matter what, is like something that no one, for, like, remembers. Yeah. There's nothing I could do about that anyways. No. Like, but I could have had a chance. Let's see here. What, what else? Do we, oh, see, there's another fiver. Okay, could have got a two. Yeah. No, things went just way too well for you, right? To like, you just hit everything you could possibly need. That was very well done. Yeah, it was freaking, freaking nuts, man. Freaking nuts. And, uh, and no mitigation until round three is is painful too. <laughs> Star Wars <laughs> guess, Destiny, man. Right. I did have one. I did have one hidden. Mode. I guess that's true. I saved myself a few damage there. Yeah, and, and then you guarded me to my freaking solid dice this last damn turn. Yeah, that was round three, yeah. And that killed it. Well done. Yeah, thank you again. Um, what else? Do you what else do you want to tell the Star Wars Destiny community? Um Yeah, sorry, I guess I guess you were asking the final pleasure card. There's a card. Yeah, there. guilty pleasure there's card. A What's your guilty pleasure card? It's kind of the it's uh, daring escape is one of my that I keep trying to make work and I keep slotting into decks, but it's Oops. never consistent enough. Um, yeah, it's just never consistent enough and, uh, it never hits when it needs to hit, but the odd time that it does hit, it's just such a good card. Um, yeah, so it's ambush, which is, which is, um, super helpful in a lot of cases, but it's kind of like, um, I feel your anger for heroes. Oh yeah. But look worse. Um, which is why it costs two as well. But like, if you, if your opponent rolls out two or three blanks among their five or six dice you can re-roll anything you want to see removed or, or that you don't like seeing or all of the rest of their dice and then remove those three plus whatever else show blank and it's also a little bit of utility in like um like if they god roll it's kind of like a, a really bad expensive like um uh, sound the alarm where I can just reroll all your dice, uh, and then if you happen to hit a couple of blanks, then they, then they get removed. So it's a fun card that when it works, it it's like devastating and it's a blowout card. But to be honest, it's uh, I haven't been able to make it work consistently in any deck. Yeah, it's like you know, sound the alarm that then gives them god roll if they. <laughs> yeah, you're like great, thanks. Yeah, so it's it's a super fun card. Um, in my regional win, uh, I had slotted one Anticipate in my deck, which oh, wow. is just force your opponent to resolve all of their dice and remove any dice they didn't resolve. Yes. Um, 
So I had slotted one of those in, in my deck, which is a similar type of blowout card. Like if you roll out badly and there's not really anything you want to resolve, I can just make you resolve it all. Uh-huh. Like including just like have, making you take resources and disrupts and shields when all you're really looking for is damage or whatever, right? Um, <laughs> so yeah, so if you roll out badly, I can make you pay with two cards. Um, in hindsight, I probably would have taken Daring Escape instead of Anticipate because it has a little bit more utility. Yeah. Um, only because you can use it when they roll well as well as when they roll bad. Like it's just, it gives you a little bit more utility. But anyways, those that's kind of my, if you know, one of the guilty pleasure cards that I've been trying to make work that um, doesn't really work that well. <laughs> no, no, it, no, I can see it happening, but that's the only thing. It's like, it's a whole lot of if card. Yeah. But no, I, I can absolutely see it being so devastating and it being that turn and game winner. Mm-hmm. I love yeah, it. John, Ma- John Magnuson recently was on your Destiny podcast, which I'm a huge fan of. And he talked about how you sh- you know his deck building strategy is that he has two to four cards in his deck that only gets played, you know, once every couple of games and is not very consistent. But when you do play it, it straight up wins you a game. I love um, it that card potentially falls into that category right and yes this card might fall into that category too yeah the problem can... with that card is that like you don't know ahead of time like you you just play it hoping right and yeah then, so the only cool. way you can probably do that is doing some type of antics mm-hmm. where you can see the card so put it with blue to get the uh you know all-knowing kind of stuff happening yeah yeah exactly but yeah man such a great game thank you so much yeah, thanks for kicking my butt. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, no, but this <laughs> you invite time... me on your show. <laughs> you come here and make a mockery of me. <laughs> no, that's the point. Just asking questions while like it makes you you're like trying to drink at the me. same time as talking. What happened? Yeah, sorry, you're just, you're just distracting me. Oh, there it is. That's the whole goal. Make myself yeah. look good on it. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe maybe there's uh, something to be taken from that. I'll maybe I'll develop a strategy of distracting my opponents. There you go. That's all you got to do. Just like start snapping your fingers in the process of. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, what else? Um, oh, is there any other tidbits of competitive? So anyone that's watching, um, that you want to give at least a little bit of knowledge to those that are trying to build competitive decks. Um, in terms of deck building. Yeah, that's a that's a good question. Um, sorry, my phone just made some weird. Oh, it's alright. Um, yeah, um, I don't know. I guess it's like find find something that is con- like consistency is the name of the game. So um, you know, if you're playing a fun deck, um, having it be super combo-y and and kind of like not uh you know cards like this are super fun but you'll never see that at a top table at a major tournament yeah um because it's just you can't rely on it um you can't rely on it hitting and even though it just kicked my butt um you know if it had missed um chances are you there's you know you might just lose the game and you just spent all your resources and a card in your deck to do nothing, right? Or to do like two indirect damage, which would not have killed me. And then like I have six damage showing on the board. I've got, you know, cards that I can increase my damage. Yep. Um, you know, these are the type of consistent things you'll see in decks um, versus not consistent explosive things. So just make sure like even this, like in most decks, even in most mono blue decks, you can't reliably get enough um blue upgrades on the board to use them in a lot of cases it works really well here because it's my ramp is kind of crazy and like this game went extremely poorly um for me but um you know in an average game i've got four or five uh blue upgrades out you know and before this turn would have been done i definitely would have had um uh, another upgrade out and it, you know, I would have been hitting for at least three, and and that's considering that I've already, you know, three or I guess four, but I guess technically three for up for a huge upgrade. 
Yeah. So I guess my point is consistency wins games. Make sure you, you put cards that are like extremely consistent. This is like, these are like the least consistent cards in my entire deck. Everything else I can basically use um, every single round pretty easily. And the only time these cards are really dead cards are like rounds one and sometimes round two, mm-hmm. if I didn't get a second upgrade out. But um, even just with two, a card like this, um, you know, Power of the Force, which which um, I guess if, 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 if you guys don't know Power of the Force, <clears throat> I can resolve a die and have the have it equal the the number of blue upgrades i have in play so like if so many times i I just use it for two to kill a character when they're not expecting it they don't mitigate my die showing one Mm -hmm. they don't mitigate my die showing two and i kill them you know because i can do it for three so um anyways the, the point of this kind of this rambling is consistency wins games. Make sure that like, you know, probably 26 or 28 of your cards, um, when you draw them at in any round, um, that they should be playable um, and effective. And if you find that that they're not, then you have to start swapping them out for other cards that do similar things that you want them to do. Um, even if they do them, um, at a at a lower power level, um, but do it more consistently, right? And the only other kind of caveat I'll add to the consistency and playability of cards is that if a card is really like you don't you don't want to have too many cards in your deck that are bad round one, right? Like mind trick is super bad round yeah round one. <laughs> one. You know, like these like these cards are bad round one. Right. But if you look through my deck, like there's no almost no other cards that are bad round. Yeah. Well, I wish I would have been able to play this. <laughs> Look at that game. dagger mortis. Yeah. It's um a beast you card. know, like illusion, overconfident, um, force speed, weapons, like pull even guard with the dice that i have is is good round one this is probably another card that i don't want to see super early but like other than that everything else is good i'm just looking through my deck now real quick to see if there's any cards that are bad round and yeah all of these cards are are really good round one these are the only ones and like you know, arguably, you could play it in a pinch. Um, this is fine to get down round one. It's not the end of the world. You just mm-hmm. don't want to see it. But, like, cards that are actually bad round one, I have, you know, four in the deck. Um, so that's kind of the max that you'll want to see. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Um, so, uh, what was that? So that's, that's, that's the only thing I would say is make sure you're super consistent. Um, and that, you know... If you if you draw them, you can play them, and you don't want any more than like a couple of cards in your deck that that you that are less consistent but blow out um, because they're worth it. Um, and then make sure you don't have any more than maybe two to four cards that are quote unquote bad round one because that can get you in a real pinch. Um, and in this game this game was actually a perfect example of that. I just drew too many weapons. Um, and and supports round one and two, uh-huh. and I just I couldn't do anything about any of your damage. So if you get yourself like that, that's a rare situation for for this deck specifically. Uh-huh. If you get yourself in that situation too often, um, that's that's what makes decks bad. Gotcha. No, like consistency is so key. So highly suggest that you take these wise words from Matt. Uh, it is such a big factor in this game. Uh, just making sure that you have the consistency all the way through your deck. And like, yeah, these these possible cards of having turn one, just you want to minimize that process as much as possible. Yeah, for sure. Oh, man. Matt, again, thank you so much, man, uh, for coming on to uh, a Padawan story. I hope you enjoyed it, at least for the most part. 
Yeah, I had I definitely had fun, even though I got my butt kicked. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, fun, fun. No, you're you're playing a super fun deck that can be explosive, and yeah. uh, it's fun to see those decks take off, even though they they sometimes don't do them. You know, like as we've just been talking about consistently enough. Right. Um, they're super fun, and when they go off, they they're scary, and uh, you've just proven that. So yeah, <laughs> you, know, you, you definitely you definitely. Um, so well done. It was fun for sure. Yeah. yeah and if, uh, yeah, we should, we should do some more stuff together. If you want, uh, want me to come back on and, and throw down, um, on one of your streams or whatever, let me know. And then, uh, yeah, maybe I'll even can't bite the show. Um, oh, that'd be incredible. Yeah. I can't wait to collab with you even further, man. That'd be fantastic. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. Um, last thing you want to say, you want to plug away, do it one more time. Yeah. Sure. Again, uh, check me out. If you go on to Chance Cube uh, website, which is the Chance uh, Chance Cube Facebook page, you can find my show, which is the Canto Bite Players Club. It's on the um, Chance Cube Network. Subscribe um, to their podcast feed and you'll get it. It comes out every two to three weeks. Um, my show specifically, the main show of the Chance Cube comes out every week, but my show is every two to three weeks, depending on what's going on um yeah ch check it out i think if you're a competitive player and you want to you know get more in depth on strategy and deck building and um gameplay then uh, i think you'll enjoy it yeah again guys all the links are down below so I highly suggest you go check them out if you guys haven't checked them out already if you <laughs> if you haven't you're under a rock but still you guys need to go check them out. All right. Highly, highly suggested. Like and subscribe them. Do it. All right. Thank you again, Matt, for having me on. Or having me on. Having you on. <laughs> Thank you for having me on. Yeah. It was a let's, uh, let's do it again. Yeah. Sounds great to me, man. I'm going to close this out and get this going. Hey. Beautiful. Take care. Thank you so much, Matt. So... Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. Truly appreciate it. Uh, if you guys like Star Wars Essen content, tabletop simulator content, like Sub Hatter One Story, make sure you hit the like button on this video as well as subscribe to this content. If you guys didn't like it, just let me know in the comments below. Tell me what you guys uh, didn't like about it so that I can better improve the channel and better improve the community. Truly appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much for everything, and I'll catch you next time on a Padawan Story. Have a good one, everybody. Peace!